Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about find nearest prime number. So suppose if I enter uh, 5 or uh, then display the nearest prime number is 5. Uh, suppose if I enter uh, number 6 then display nearest prime number 5 and 7. Or if I enter 9 then display the nearest prime number 7 and 11. So right here, this is my code. So if you debug the code, then control comes to main function here after that coincide. So right here, I have taken five integer variable. First is or d1. Next, or d2. So right here, d1 in its rise to zero, and d2 also in its rise to zero. Next, n1 and n2 n1 and 2 so both also initialized to 0 and uh, one more variable n so at your cout function so whatever you double code that display into the output screen enter number to point nearest prime number and whatever i'm going to enter so that to see by n so first time i'm going to enter n value 6 so here out to for loop. So int i equal to n. So i value. So n value go to i. So n value is 6. That go to i. Now here after there is no any condition. So branded that coincide. So at here if n prime math. If n prime function. And here one argument. So that receive i value 6. So n prime function is there, so that called n prime function, and here or uh, s receive six. Now here after that go to inside here k value start from zero and one more variable j. So j value start from one. Now check the condition 1 less than equal to s. So s value is received at your 6. So at your s value received 6. So check the condition 1 less than equal to 6. Condition is true. So that coincide. If s mod j. So s value is 6. j value is 1. So 6 mod 1. So remainder come 0, so 0 equal to 0, condition is true, so that coincide, that increase the value of k, so k become 1. Now here after that go up and increase the value of j, so j is 2. Check the condition, 2 less than equal to s, so 2 less than equal to 6, condition is true, so that coincide. So at here, 6 mod 2, double equal to 0, so 6 mod 2, remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is true, so that increase the value of k, so k is now. 1 to 2. Here after j again increase. So j is 3. Now check the condition 3 less than equal to 6. Condition is true. So at if 6 mod 3 double equal to 0. 6 mod 3 remainder come 0. 0 equal to 0. Condition is true. So that increase the value of k. So k is 3 now. Here after j also increase. So j is 4 now. Here after check the condition 4 less than equal to s. 4 less than equal to 6 condition is true, so that coincides. So at a 6 mod 4. So if you divide, then you, it divide by 1 sub times and remainder come to 2 double equal to 0. Condition is not true, so that not coincide. Here j increase. So j is 5 now. Now check the condition 5 less than equal to 6 condition is true, so that coincides. So at a 6 mod 5. So you divide by 1 times remainder come 1. 1 double equal to 0. Condition is not true. That not coincide. J increase. So J is 6. Here check the condition 6 less than equal to 6. Condition is true. So that coincide. Add here. Uh, S value 6. J value 6. 6 mod 6. Remainder come 0. 0 equal to 0. Condition is true. So that increase the value of K. So K is 4 now. So here after J increase. So J is 7. 
no check the condition 7 less than equal to or oh, 6 condition is not true so that not coincide if here control comes to if if k double equal to 2 so k value is now 4 so condition is not true that go to else point here that return false now here after that go back to this function in prime so this value return false so that not coincide here that not coincide so again that go up and increase the value of i so i is now 6 to 7 the condition so there is no any condition so that coincides so at n prime so i this time or uh, that is it 7 so 7 now here after that called n prime function now control comes to this point so at uh, this time s receives 7 so here after s becomes 7 now and k start from 0 and j start from 1 now here after go to for loop j start from 1 so j less than equal to s so j value is now 1 s value is 7 1 less than equal to 7 condition is true so that coincides so if s mod j so s value is 7 and j value is 1 7 mod 1 double equal to 0 condition is true so that coincides k increase so k is now 1 here after j in case, so j is 2 now. j the condition 2 less than equal to 7, condition is true. So that coincides. So at a 7 mod 2, remainder will come at a 1, 1 double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide. Here j in case. So j is now 3. So at a 3 less than equal to 7, condition is true. So that coincides if 7 mod 3. So you divide by 2 times, remainder will come 1, 1 double equal to 0, condition is not true, that coincides. So j in case. So j is now 4. Check the condition 4 less than equal to 7 condition is true so that coincide if uh, 7 mod 4 double equal to 0 so 7 mod 4 it divide by 1 times and remainder from 3 3 equal to 0 condition is not true not coincide j in case so j is now 5 so at here 5 less than equal to 7 condition is true so that coincide so 7 mod 5 so 7 mod 5 remainder come at here or 2 so 2 double equal to 0 condition is not true not coincide j in case so j is now 6. So at here 6 less than equal to 7 condition is true. So that coincide. So same mod 6. So it divide by 1 times remainder come 1 1 double equal to 0. Condition is not true. So that coincide j increase. So j is now uh, 7. So at here check the condition 7 equal to 7 condition is true. So s value is 7, j value is 7, same mod 7. So remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is true. So k increase. So k is now 2. So here after j increase, so j is now 7 to 8. Now here after check the condition 8 less than equal to 7. Condition is not true, so not coincide here. If k double equal to 2, so k value is not true. 2 double equal to 2, condition is true, so that return true. So here control comes to if n prime. So this condition is true, so that coincide. So at i minus n. So i value is now or 7 and n value i into 6. 7 minus 6 or 1. So 1 go to d1. So d1 become 1. Now here after i value go to n1. So i value is now 7. 7 go to n1. So n1 become 7. And here after that break the statements. So if the break Then loop one continue. Now control comes to this point. So at your n value go to i. So n value is now 6. 6 go to i. So i becomes 6 now. Here after there is no any condition. So not coincide. Here after if n prime. So this time i value is now 6. So this call the n prime map or n prime function. Now control comes to this point. Here s receive 6. So s receive this time 6. K start from 0. So again the same process continue. J start from 1. And check the condition 1 less than equal to s value or 6. So 1 less than equal to 6 condition is true. So that coincides. So I have s mod j. So 6 and mod 1. 
So remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, condition is true. So that increase the value of k. So k is 1 now. Again, j increase. So j is on 2. So check the condition 2 less than equal to 6, condition is true. So that coincides if s mod j. So s value is now 6, 6 mod 2, double equal to 0, condition is true. So that increase the value of k. So k is now, k is 2. Here after j increase. So j is 3 now. Check the condition 3 less than equal to 6, condition is true. So that coincides. So that here. Or 6 mod 3 double equal to 0. Condition is true, so k increase. So k is 3 now. Here after j increase, so j is 4. Now check the condition 4 less than equal to 6. Condition is true, so that coincides. So if 6 mod 4, so it divide by 1 times, remainder come 2, 2 double equal to 0. Condition is not true, k not increase, j increase. So j is now 5. Check the condition 5 less than equal to 6, condition is true, so that coincides, so that is 6 mod 5. So the remainder come 1, 1 double equal to 0, condition is not true, not coincide, j increase. So j is now 6. So here after, or check the condition 6 equal to 6, condition is true, so that is s value 6, j value 6. So 6 mod 6, remainder come 0, 0 equal to 0, that true, so k increase. So k is now 4. So k increase, k is not more. So j is increase, so j is more 7. So at here, 7 less than equal to 6, condition is not true. So control comes to this point. If k double equal to 2, so k value is now 4. 4 double equal to 2, condition is not true. So that go to as one. So at here, return false. So this value return false. So false, so that not go inside. Here after that go up and decrease the value of i. So i is now 6 to 5. And here, oh, there is no any condition, then again that coincides. So n prime, this time i receive 5. Again, the loop uh, that go to n prime, call the n prime function. So this time s receive 5. So s value is now this time 5. Here after k value start from 0 and j value start from 1 and here check the condition 1 less than equal to 5 condition is true so that coincides so at here s mod j so s value is now 5 5 mod 1 double equal to 0 condition is true so k increase so k is now 0 to 1 here after that go j increase so j is 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to 5 condition is true so that coincides so at here or 5 mod 2 double equal to 0. So 5 mod 2 remainder come 1, 1 double equal to 0. Condition is not true. So k mod increase, j increase. So j is 3. Check the condition 3 less than equal to 5. Condition is true. So that coincides. So I have 5 mod 3 double equal to 0. So 5 mod 3 remainder come on or 2. It divide by 1 times. Sorry, 5 mod 3. So it divide by 1 times and remainder come 2. So 2 double equal to 0 not true, j increase. So j is now 4. So at here, 4 less than equal to 5, condition is true, so at that coincides so 5 mod 4. So you divide by 1 times, remainder come 1. 1 double equal to 0, condition is not true, j increase. So j is now 5. So at here, 5 equal to 5, condition is true, so that coincides if 5 mod 5. So 5 mod 5, remainder come 0. 0 equal to 0, condition is true, so that coincides k increase. So k is now 2. So here after j increase, so j is now 5 to 6. Check the condition 6 less than equal to 5. Condition is not true, that not coincides. So add here, if k double equal to true, so k value is now 2 this time. Condition is true. So return true. Here that back back to n prime. Here after that comes to this point. If n prime, so this value return true. So that coincides. So add here d1 equal to n minus i. So n value is now 6 and i value 5, 6 minus 5, so d1 become 1. Here after i value go to n2, i value is now 5, 5 go to n2, so this become 5. And here after break statement comes, so that terminate the loop. Now here control comes to this point, so at, at here d1 equal to d1 less than equal to d2. So d1 value is now 1. And d1, d2 is now 0. 
So d1 1 less than equal to 0, condition is not true, that not coincide here. Control comes to as a point, so at here d2 less than d1. So d2 is now 0 less than d1 1. So 0 less than a1, condition is true, so that coincides. So at here, that display nearest prime number n value i into 6. And n2 value is now 5. So at here, this value 5. And n1 value or 7. So at here, the output come nearest prime number or 6 equal to uh, 5 and 7. Suppose if I enter n value 5, so at here I enter n value 5, so n value go to i, so i become at here or 5, so at here there is no any condition, so control comes to this point n by i, so i is in this time 5, now here after s is in 5, so s value is 5 now, k start from 0 and here j start from 1. So right here 1 less than equal to 5 condition is 2, so that coincides, so right here uh, 5 mod i double equal to 0 condition is 2, so k increase. So k is now 0 to 1. Here after j increase, so, so j is now 1 to 2. Condition is true, so 2 less than equal to 5, condition is true, so that coincides, so at here, s mod j. So 5 mod 2 double equal to 0, condition is not true, that not increase, j increase. So again, uh, j increase, so j is 3 now, check the condition, if less than equal to 5, condition is true, so 5 mod 3 double equal to 0, condition is not true, again, k not increase, so at here, uh, j become 4, so at here, 4 less than equal to 5, so at here, 5 mod 4 double equal to 0, condition is not true, so k not equal to Increase so again j increase so j is now uh, 5 5 equal to 5 condition is true so that concept so I do 5 mod 5 double equal to 0 condition is true so k is now 2 so again j increase so j is 6 now 6 less than equal to 5 condition is not true that not concept here if k double equal to 2 so condition is true so that return true so this value return true so I do i minus n so i value is now 5 and n value is now n, so 5 minus 5, the value become 0, so d1 become 0. And here after i value go to n1, so i value is now 5, 5 go to n1. And that break the statement, so break the loop. Now control comes to this point, so at here, n value receive at here, n value go to i, so i is now 5. And here after there is no any condition, so again that coincides. So n prime, so this value this is at your 5. So control comes to this point, call the map, uh, function, so at your this receive as. So s receive 5, then again the same process continue, then uh, k double equal to 2, say then that return true. So here after control comes to this point, back, so this is true, so d1 equal to n minus i. So pi minus 5 or uh, d will become 0 and i value go to n2. So i value is now 5 that go to n2. So n2 become 5. Here after break statement comes. So at here if d1 less than equal to d2. So d1 value is now 0 and d2 value is 0. Condition is true. So that coincides. So at here nearest prime number or uh, that display to the output screen n value i into 5 is 5. And here after that out from main function. So suppose if you enter any prime number like 5, 7, then output come the same. Nearest prime number 7 equal to 7 is 7. And if you enter the number 6, then prime number come 5 and 7. So this is the giant method of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So thanks for watching. See you next.